Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be reviewing and showing you guys how to set up the N30 Pro Bluetooth gamepads. So this was sent to me by geekbuying.com. So I will leave a link to this product in the description if you guys wish to buy it. And I will also try and leave a coupon code down there so you guys can get some money off if you're interested. So basically what this is, you can clearly see it's based off the NES controller and it's Bluetooth and it works with Nintendo Switch, Windows, Android, Mac OS, Steam and probably some other stuff as well. So let's just unbox this right now. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the box actually. So there's the back, um, tells you what it works with, all like the firmwares and stuff. It works with Windows 7 and above and um, oh, it also works with Raspberry Pi. And there's the um, information you get, so you get a gamepad. Um, apparently it has 18 hours play um, with a 1-2 to two hour charging time has a micro USB cable to charge it and it also comes with an instruction manual so it's made by 8-bit dough um, made by the same people that I did that adapter review on recently so let's open this right now a um, fairly simple box it just slides out like this and then here we have the gamepad so let's just take a look at the gamepad right now and I'll tell you guys what I think the quality is like um, so the quality is actually pretty good you can click down the buttons um, like the um, joysticks um, the quality of the buttons does feel pretty good actually and you can clearly see that it's designed off the NES controller and yeah let's just take a look at the back so the back of it fairly basic and that is pretty much what it looks like it's very small um, if you just see it in my hands like this this is pretty much how small it is I'm not sure the exact size um, so yeah it has all the buttons start and select um, L1, L2, R2, R1 has a D-pad right here and then it has the Y, X, A and B buttons and then down at the bottom it has a power button and then the Bluetooth button so once you press this one it will start looking for a Bluetooth device so to power it on all you do is hold this and then it should just go blue and now you know it's running and now to do exactly the same thing just to turn it off you just hold this button goes blue and then powers off and now the controller is completely powered off so I will show you how to use this button to connect it to various devices in a minute also in the box we just have the instruction manual probably has most of the stuff in here I just told you so you can read this if you buy it and then it also has um, the micro USB cable so we can connect this to our PC you don't have to connect it via Bluetooth you can connect it via micro USB and so we can charge it at the wall and that is all that's in the box very simple just the controller the instructions manual and the cable so now I will show you guys how to set this up with Android then probably how to set this up with my Nintendo Switch and then I will show you um, just some gameplay with me using the controller now you don't always have to connect it via Bluetooth you can also connect it via the micro USB cable that it comes with so you can plug this into your PC or Raspberry Pi and then just set up the controller um, on your device from there Alright guys, so to get this controller working on your Android device, you want to go into your Android device's settings and just click on Bluetooth. Now make sure Bluetooth is just turned on. Now get your controller and just hold the power button just for a few seconds until it starts to go blue like this. And now you can just tap on the communications button and it should come up. So I've paired mine before, um, as you can see it connected automatically, but once it comes up, all you do is tap it and then just connect like that. So now I can prove to you that it works. I can press B to go back, go back again. Now I'm on the main menu and I can actually control my Android phone using this. So I can open stuff like um, Instagram. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram as well if you want to. So yeah, it's pretty cool and um, it works really well um, with Android. So now I will show you how to connect it to your Nintendo Switch. You will actually need an extra adapter for that, so just keep that in mind. Um, but I'll show you guys how to do it anyway. Right guys, so for connecting it to the Nintendo Switch, you will need the other 8-bit Doe Bluetooth adapter. Um, I actually have another video on this, um, so I'll leave that in the description if you guys want to check that out. And also on your Nintendo Switch, you will just need to open up the system settings. And then on the system settings, you just want to scroll down and go to controllers and sensors and make sure this option right here which is pro controller wired communication just make sure that is turned on
And now what you can do, you can plug this into your Nintendo Switch and then you can just power on your controller just holding the power button right here. And then once it's powered on, you will just need to tap the communication button, which is this one. It will start flashing like that. And then simply on this, you will just tap this button right here and then this will start flashing once it's plugged in. So here is some quick Skyrim gameplay using the controller. Um, it's actually pretty good. There's no like delay or anything like that. As you can see, I can play it completely fine. Um, both the analog sticks work uh, perfectly fine. You can also click them in as well. Um, it, this is called like R3 on the PS3. I'm not sure what it's called on this, but you can click them and you know zoom into your character and stuff like that. So we have got R1 and R2 and also L1 and L2. Um, so you can pretty much do you know all the combos um, for this game, which is Skyrim. So yeah, it's actually it's actually a pretty decent controller. Um, you can connect this into the dock as well and use it, and all the buttons work. Um, we're not you know missing anything. Um, I'd say apart from the record button, in the record and screenshot button, I don't think we're missing anything at all. Um, so yeah, actually pretty cool. Um, obviously this probably isn't the best of Skyrim. There's a lot better games you can use this controller with. Uh, definitely like, you know, classic like virtual console games and stuff like that. But here's just some gameplay and it does actually work. And you can see it also has a blue light um, which breathes on, on and off. Um, you know, just so you know your controller is connected and working. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.